everyone. Welcome to another edition of American Picker Man. It is April 9th. I'm a little behind. Uh, as you can tell by the opening uh, sequence there, I picked up some camera equipment this weekend. Mostly filters and uh, lenses and some uh, camera bodies. Uh, nothing too great. Paid $15 for the whole box. Uh, look, lens, 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 what am I doing? I'm, I moved my camera, so I'm a little befuddled today there. Lens. You know, this is really boring stuff, but that's all I got. You know, it was, the weather wasn't that bad. It was, you know, in the mid-50s, but there was just no yard sales and nothing to pick from. This weekend, however, they're calling for the 70s, so hopefully that will uh, turn into a whole bunch of stuff to show you next week. Uh, in the meantime, you know, I'm about done, so I'm going to uh, fill in the rest of the gap here, make this worth your time a little bit, hopefully. And, uh, well, here, watch, watch this. Forget your troubles, forget your chores. It's time to take a peek in Joe's drawers. So yeah, we're gonna, I'm going to show you my drawers here, but not those kind of drawers, just my drawers that I hold stuff in. So uh, we're going to go mobile here. Here's what I've got to show you. Enjoy. Okay, so I'll start off showing you uh, Joe's drawers. Here's a drawer, a drawer right here. Nothing very exciting here. This is just work stuff. But I did say drawers, so that's plural. That means i got to show you more than one. Here's another junk drawer kind of thing. Mostly work stuff. Batteries. Need those for testing. Uh, this was a drawer, now it's a shelf. Uh, here's the drawer we'll take a peek at. This is just junk I've, uh, you know, picked up over the years and, you know, just kind of gets thrown in here because I don't have time to sell everything that I pick up. So, anyway, here's something I just picked up from, uh, my good friends at Goodwill. If I can open it with one hand. But I can't. That's uh, just a little scale. Paid two bucks for that. Got it calibrated. It's working great. Nice little scale for my silver. All sorts of Pokemon cards, and uh, these aren't Pokemon, those are Digimon, but, you know, that was a good find. I like those Digimon cards, the good ones. Sonny Jurgensen, not worth anything. A little uh, NRIA, which is the National Radio something, blah, blah, blah. little pin there. Not worth a whole lot. Uh, what do you got? He's got a Flatsy. Uh, just so you know, if there's anything in here that you need, that you want, that you got to have, make me a fine little offer and we can make a deal. Uh, a couple of old Ronald McDonald or McDonald's uh, tablets, notepads, with the Captain somebody, I forget what his name is. Anyway, this is really exciting stuff. Aren't you glad you stuck around? What's in here? I don't know. Oh, actually, that's a pretty nice piece. That's all sterling right there. Not sure whether I should sell it or not. You've seen that before. If you're a regular. What else we got? Nuggets, Antonio McDice, pin, lighter, lighter, some more sterling, whole bag of uh, vintage can openers, bottle openers, bunch of watches, some good ones in there, just, you know, they just get piled in here and then things get piled on there and there's a camera lighter. Uh, I don't even know what that is. I think that's just a doll. Yeah, a doll. You don't see those too often, do you? Uh, let's see some pencil leads. What else? Some old time uh, Christmas. What are these called? I forget what they're called. Darn. Anyway, you figure it out. You look. You figure it out. Watches, some TWA playing cards, Budweiser playing cards. Oh, look at that. There's a John Elway rookie card right there. Arr. Come on, John. All right, fine. Good lord. There we go. John, you're stubborn, you. John Elway rookie card. Man, there used to be those things were getting about 300 bucks. Now that's about 50. What else is in here? Oh, that's a little portable stove. Some GI Joe manual junk. Some old postcards. Some more baseball cards and assorted things here. Buffalo Bills. A little pamphlet. Thurman Thomas. Felipe Alou. Kirk Gibson. Who's that? Some dude. I don't know. A signed Magic the Gathering card. Brett Farr rookie card, some other worthless cards, worthless cards, la 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 la, worthless cards, and a bunch of assorted other cards here. Will Clark rookie card, 
I think. That's for tightening a nut on a drum kit, I think. I don't know. What else we got in here? Empire Savings. Lighter. Uh, that's uh, Magic the Gathering type dice. Role playing dice. A couple of little books. Five fat piggies. What's in here? Oh, it's like a little. A chicken. Pewter chicken. I think there's also some bowling pin. No, that's the eggs that goes with the chicken. That goes? That go with the chicken. Anyway, you get the idea. It's mostly just junk. Here's some. Actually, it's some nice antique. Uh, Cigar, cigar cards? I don't know what they're called. You get them with the, well these were Dwight's I think. Church and Dwight baking soda cards. A lot of, a lot of nice cards, a lot of them are in really good condition. But, haven't got time to do all that. There, here's something you don't see every day. Giant toenail clipper. More of the Dwight and Church, Church and Dwight. Signals. Oh, look, it's a thing. Flip movie. Let's see if I can do this here. Ah, I can't. Never mind. Mystery container right here. I have no idea what that holds. Got to keep that. My daughter wants that. That's from the World's Fair 1934. Chicago World's Fair. Very cool. Not worth a whole lot. She wants it, so I'll save it. Give it to her. Oh, look. More watches. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. Again, if there's anything in there other than this that, uh, you know, you find that you just can't live without, feel free to make me an offer, and uh, we'll wheel and deal and, uh, you know, make, come up with something. So, there you go. Okay, so wasn't that exciting? Aren't you glad you stuck around for that? Sorry, it's not wound up being fairly boring from the looks of it. Uh, anyways, uh, stick around for updates on a few things that sold last week. Didn't sell too much, but there's a few things there to look at. Uh, thanks for sticking around. Thanks for watching. Thanks for coming by. Thanks for everything, and we'll catch you next week. Hopefully a better week. See ya.